So today I am going to be talking you through a few brand new features that Flowdesk have just released. I haven't seen them talking about it anywhere yet, but I have noticed these changes on my platform as I've been playing with it today. So I thought I would share it with you guys in a video. So I'm going to head over to Flowdesk's email section on my account and go to create a new one to show you that there are some really nice new templates that Flowdesk have created here in the template section. Um, you can see they've got a few new layouts coming through here, which are really, really nice. So I'm just going to click on one of these just to show you the layout changes that they've created. And I'm going to go to customize. And what it's done is it's added my logo up here at the top um, and I'm just going to make that a little bit smaller so it's not so intrusive. So normally on Flowdesk, you would get to this uh, area here and you can add different blocks and things like that. If you have used it before, you would be familiar with some of the different layout uh, templates that they had before. So rather than just adding things like text blocks and images um, to create your uh, email newsletter template, uh, Flowdesk have actually created a series of really nice um, different layouts of kind of image and text combinations done in different styles you can scroll through them here on the right hand side so they had all of these ones before but what they've done now um, in order to create these new email templates um, is actually created a few more new ones so if you scroll down to the point where you can see the two column text from here there are their new ones listed so we've got like a magazine style um, layout here there's um, some image cutouts there's um, this option here, which if I just get rid of this uh, layout, which is one of the first options. This is one of the new options here. So it's um, giving you the ability to kind of add an image and there's this cool kind of squiggly line shape over it and you can add text in there too. Um, and as we scroll down, there's other options that are brand new. Again, I think this email um, template uses one of these layouts, uh, this one here call this about me section, just creating like a border there. Um, and there's some other ones as well, like an invitation style um, overlaid text on an image and these really kind of editorial magazine looking ones as well. And these just kind of um, bring a really nice, uh, unique touch to your emails. So these are all the new uh, layouts that Flowdesk have created and they've also obviously created some templates to go with it. Um, another update to do with these layouts is you can now expand um, content blocks uh, here in the Flowdesk editor, which gives you a little bit more uh, wiggle room to resize some of these layouts um, where originally your text may have got cut off and things like that. Um, so if I just click on this block here and scroll down to the very bottom edge, you can see this double ended arrow happening there. And if I click and drag, it's allowing me to resize the block. Um, and that is the same with this text block here. It's just allowing me to resize it so that I can add, basically so that I can add padding to it easily without having to go to the block settings here and go to padding and add the padding in manually. Um, I can just click and resize it here and then it will automatically update the padding here. So it's basically adding uh, padding to different blocks so that you can create more space in your uh, email templates and things like that. Uh, also, the same is with uh, spacer blocks. If you're adding spacer blocks between different things, you can now uh, click on that and do the same thing and drag that around. Um, and you'll see if we add one of their older layouts like, um, this one. If you've ever used these before, you may have noticed that if you add lots of text in, the uh, text starts to get cut off if you start using too much um, than what it's built for. Whereas now you can copy and paste or write out um, a little bit longer text and the, um, the layout block here will just expand and you can also expand it further as well to fit the text a little bit better. So that's a really nice feature as well. So the second new feature, and you can probably see it here, um, is they have made personalization a lot easier. So previously, in order to add a personalization, by which I mean a first name, last name, email address, kind of automated field that is 
personalized to each individual subscriber. Uh, what you had to do before was uh, be typing out your text and then there was this little fields um, tab up here which has now been removed um, and that would allow you to set up what's called a data field um, to put your uh, name or personalization in there. Now it is much much easier um, I believe you can only do this on text blocks so far I don't think you can do it in layout blocks um, but you can basically just type um, anywhere I'm just going to get rid of this and just put an at symbol and then you can select first name, last name or email address. Probably you're just going to be using first name. Um, and then what you need to do is also type in a replacement word for if you have a subscriber on your list who hasn't got their first name uh, listed with you. So something like friend um, or something that suits your brand personality really to call them a friend. Is that going to fit with your business and your brand? Um, maybe not or maybe it will for me that's absolutely fine click insert and then it adds the field there for you so that just makes it so much easier and you can also do this to subject lines and to preview text as well so I'm going to go ahead and send myself a test email so that you can see how it actually works um, I am oh there we go so I'm going to just replace this a minute and say at symbol pop in the first name and if they haven't got their first name, I'm just going to write hey and then a comma or awesome. and then I'm going to send it to my Gmail email address and send a test email to myself and then I will show you once that lands in my inbox what that actually looks like. So it's been sent now. Now, um, if you are designing an email, don't. that's not where you would normally put the subject line. Um, that's literally just for test emails up there, the little paper airplane um, area there. If you want to add or change the subject line of your email before you send it out, you need to click next, um, set up who the email is coming from. And then on the next page, you can write out your subject line and here is where you can personalize it as well. Hey. And you can also do it in the preview text as well. So that just makes it really, really easy. Um, and I love that Flowdesk has um, just made it much, much simpler for people to do this without having to copy and paste uh, weird data tag field things, um, which is brilliant. So um, I can see over on my Gmail now, I've had an email come in and it is my test email from by Rosanna. And you can see it has used my first name that is listed in my uh, subscriber settings there saying, Anna, you're awesome. Obviously, if you've got a subscriber called John, it won't say Anna, it will say John. Um, and then when you click into the actual content itself, um, oh, I didn't do one in, oh no, I did do one in here. It says, hey, Anna. Um, and that again will automatically update based on the name of the subscriber. Or if the person doesn't have a name listed in your uh, subscriber details, then it will just say friend or whatever you set it up to be. So if you are interested in learning more about Flowdesk, I have an ultimate guide to Flowdesk on my website. I will leave the link to it below. Um, I've done a comparison about MailChimp. I have done um, how to move MailChimp to Flowdesk and a kind of behind the scenes tour of what Flowdesk looks like, connecting it to Squarespace, all sorts of information there, as well as a 50% off code and um, sign up link that if you don't have an account already, you can sign up with that link and get 50% off for the rest of your active subscription, basically. So instead of 38 US dollars per month, it becomes 19 US dollars per month, which is amazing value for everything that you get in Flowdesk. Or if you are already set up on Flowdesk, but you want to learn properly how to use it and maybe you need some help with your actual email marketing strategy, um, I have an online course which could help you as well. It's called Email Marketing with Flowdesk. And I literally take you through all the kind of tech tutorials you need in Flowdesk, plus the actual concepts and strategies of email marketing, how to grow a list and what to actually send your list and make them want to buy from you as well. Um, so there's loads of details on that. I will leave the link to both the Ultimate Guide to Flowdesk and my uh, course links in the video description. Thank you so much for watching um, and I will see you again next week with another video.